Today's lecture focused on bullying and violence among peers. And uh, we started, of course, with uh, important definitions and reasons why we have to address bullying. Bullying has to be perceived as a, a violation of human right uh, and uh, something that the whole educational system has to address and pay attention to. Uh, in the initial uh, uh, introduction of uh, uh, at today's lecture, we started with different types of bullying and we asked students uh, what they experienced because uh, today's students, they were uh, the first year students and it uh, was obvious that they have a personal experience also with this. And I tried to connect with this and uh, also to include the results from different research done in uh, Europe and also uh, in the United States uh, to, to connect and to, uh, uh, to show, as I said, different types of bullying. Uh, it includes from uh, physical bullying, uh, verbal abuse, uh, uh, social exclusion, relational, relational bullying. It includes uh, also uh, cyber bullying, of course, and also sexual bullying. Uh, then we focus uh, to the question of who are the victims. Usually this is highly neglected and the idea is that victims are only uh, those who are directly exposed to bullying, but it's much more broader. Uh, it's, uh, it's proven from the research that uh, we have a great uh, uh, circle of victims which are included being, uh, of course, the direct victim uh, of bullying, then parents, grandparents, siblings, uh, then the, the, whole school, the whole school, schoolmates, even teachers, uh, and in the end also, of course, the whole community. Uh, I try to present uh, the, the theoretical background uh, for bullying and uh, causes of bullying, uh, which has to be uh, have to be understood uh, through the perspective of ecological theory uh, of uh, bullying. Uh, it includes the uh, causes which start in the center and of course they go and extend to the other layers, outer layers uh, of this ecological theory. It starts in the family, it starts with the individual, but then it, it includes also the whole community, it includes neighborhoods, it includes schools, it includes uh, also uh, uh, the policy level of the country, it includes the media and all other uh, elements. A mí la verdad que me ha parecido bastante interesante porque a pesar de estar en inglés y que puedan, se pueda provocar algo, algunas eh, confusiones o algo, ha sido bastante sencillo de entender y sobre todo el tema es muy, muy importante, sobre todo para nosotros, los jóvenes y tal, por todo el tema de, sobre todo el ciberbullying, que ha sido un tema que se ha tratado también, y sobre todo la profundización de todo lo que es el bullying, el acoso escolar, Y, y todo lo que ello conlleva es algo bastante importante para nosotros y por ello considero que ha sido bastante interesante el, el tema de la charla. Y yo creo que la charla ha sido algo muy interesante, que se ha podido entender súper bien y que yo he hecho un trabajo muy relacionado con este tema y que he estado muy de acuerdo con algunos términos que, términos que ha dicho, los ha explicado todo súper bien y es algo que se puede comprender mucho ahora mismo en la realidad que tenemos ahora, aunque en la universidad ya no pasa tanto, sí que lo hemos vivido en nuestros días en, la, en, en el instituto y en la ESO. Yo creo que es muy importante porque se puede aportar en muchos ámbitos que podemos trabajar todos los días, por ejemplo, suicidio, tal, lo ha nombrado, lo ha nombrado él muy bien, violencia, suicidio y delincuencia, viene todo muy ligado y yo creo que es muy importante también saber de esto. I think this lecture was quite informative for students. I especially liked the questions they had. Uh, it was quite uh, food for thoughts and uh, I truly appreciate this uh, experience and uh, recommend also to other colleagues, uh, first, of course, to address this issue and also to come and visit uh, University of Valencia and have an interaction with our students.